Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing Once Upon a Book Club's monthly pick for February 2021. This month I went with the adult version of Once Upon a Book Club because I thought that the story sounded a little bit more interesting than the young adult. Let's get into the box. The book this month is Shiver and it is by the author Allie Reynolds. So the reason I found this book really interesting based on the hint they gave was because it's kind of like a locked in room thriller. I will read you the back of the book so you get an idea for the story. A reunion weekend in the French Alps turns deadly as five friends discover that someone has stranded them at their remote mountain resort during a snowstorm. When Mila accepts an off-season invitation to Le Rocher, one of France's most exclusive ski resorts, she was expecting an intimate weekend of catching up with four old friends. It might have been a decade since she last saw them, but she's never forgotten the bond they forged on this very mountain during a winter spent fiercely training for an elite snowboarding competition. Yet the moment Mila and the others arrive for the reunion, they can tell something is wrong. The resort is deserted. The cable cars that delivered them to the mountaintop have stopped working. Their cell phone's missing, and inside the ski lodge, an icebreaker game awaits designed to draw out their secrets. A game meant to remind them of Saskia, the enigmatic sixth member of their group who vanished the morning of the co competition years before and has long been presumed dead. Stranded in the lodge with a looming snowstorm making escape even more impossible, Mila realizes there's no one on the mountain she can trust, because someone will stop at nothing to find out the truth about Saskia. And if Mila's not careful, she could be the next to disappear. The cool thing about this author, Ellie Reynolds, this is her debut novel, and she actually was a pro snowboarder, and so she based it on her experience of snowboarding. So a lot of the details about snowboarding probably come from her actual personal experience. If you've watched some of my other videos, you know that thrillers and mystery and things with like a lot of twists and turns are my favorite kind of novels to read. So there were a few twists and turns I didn't expect in this novel. However, the ending was kind of predictable for me. Um, I've heard that other people didn't predict it, so it might be a good read, but I did see the ending coming for a while. Um, so that is my one like hitch with the book, but overall it was really good and I was really happy. Once Upon a Book Club chose like a thriller for this month. As always, in addition to the book, we get a quote card. This month it says, do your best, that's all you can do. I thought that this quote card, um, I don't like the aesthetic too much of it. And I thought that the quote was just kind of like cliche almost, but sometimes the quote cards resonate with me and sometimes they don't. So maybe this resonated with other people. We also get a book guide and inside there's a conversation with the author, some discussion questions, some read along dates, and usually like a game or a recipe or something on the back here. Now let's get to the most exciting part, which is reading the passages and opening the gifts. The first gift is on page 152, and it looks like this. The floorboards seem to wobble beneath me and I have to grip the bunk before I fall down. There, on top of the folded pile of clothes, lies Saskia's lift pass. My hand shakes as I pick it up. He shouldn't have this. So inside there is a ski pass and it has Saskia Sparks, which is one of the main characters in this novel and she has disappeared. On the back, it shows the adult access ski pass. So that's kind of cute. And then for this lanyard, it has a nice quote, probably from the book I'm expecting. Let me see. Yeah, just reading a few words on here this, the letters printed on this lanyard are actually quotes from the book, which is really cool. Uh, so I think this is a really neat gift. The next gift is on page 198. She reaches into her pocket and pulls out a black scrap of cloth. You mean this? I notice a symbol in the corner, the white lightning bolt of electric eyewear. Hey, that's my goggle cloth. I found it in the pipe where poor Jacinta fell. You dropped it right on top of her. You dropped it, I say.
Oh. I was expecting just like, um, like a cloth to like wipe your glasses or goggles, but they actually gave us ski goggles or snowboard goggles and the black cloth. That is really cool. I'm very impressed. Living in Alberta, right next to the mountains, I actually need ski goggles and I don't have any. And these have like bookish words on them and they look amazing. So I'm super happy with this gift and I'm very surprised that they gave us this entire kind of pair of things you can actually use while skiing instead of just the cloth. The next gift is on page 313. And I love this wrapping. I think it's really adorable. We reach the stairs that lead up to the function room. And once again, I smell perfume. Dread pools inside me. The music is coming from up there. Two at a time, Curtis bounds up the stairs. Brent right behind. Dry mouth, I haul myself up after Heather. What will we find? Will it really be her? And if it is, what exactly does Curtis intend to do with her? As expected, this is a bottle of perfume. Look how clean and beautiful this bottle is. I love the design of this bottle. It is so minimalistic and I think it would look great on anyone's vanity. It says Saskia Black Orchard and it's a vanilla fragrance. Hmm. I smell a hint of vanilla, but it also smells like a little bit more, um, I'd say like fruity, almost like sweet. So vanilla mixed with like a Swedish fruit scent. Let me spray it and see if it smells different on. I'm still getting the same sort of vibe. Like there's definitely some vanilla in it, but there's also kind of like a sweeter tint to it. I don't know if I absolutely love the smell. I do like the smell of vanilla, but I don't know if I like the like other scent that I'm getting, but I'll have to try it out a little bit more and see. The final gift is on page 318. Heather and Julian are right, I say. You're a shallow, self-centered bitch who doesn't care about anyone except yourself. Still smirking, Saskia wriggles into her jeans. I turn my back on her. Heather and Dale, Curtis and Brent, Jacinta. She's hurt us all. I can't let her get away with it. Except she will, won't she? She always does. Hardly aware of what I'm doing, I make coffee. Behind me, she continues dressing. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. I hand her her coffee and wait until she finishes it. I hope you break your neck, I say. Oh my God. Inside, I think this is like a thermos. I saw when I opened it that there was like a temperature reading at the top. Look how cool that is. Oh my gosh, I don't know exactly how this works but I'm pretty sure it's like um, a thermos to keep your coffee warm. And as a coffee drinker myself, that is amazing. And it shows the temperature at the top of the thermos. That is so cool. There's also a little quote at the back of the bottle here. And it says, I hand her her coffee and wait for her to finish it. And then opening the bottle, looks like this inside. And you can remove this little part of the bottle and then it just looks like that. It's like stainless steel on the inside. I was expecting like a pouch full of coffee beans or something like that. I wasn't expecting like this beautiful sleek black thermos. I have to say that the gifts are really good this month. The story was intriguing. There were a lot of different plot twists and I'm shocked by the gifts. When I was reading the passages, I was thinking, okay, I'll probably get, you know, like a black cloth to like wipe my glasses and I'll probably get some like coffee and that kind of thing. But I got actual like ski goggles. I also got this really cool thermos for my coffee with the temperature on it, a beautiful bottle of perfume. Even if I don't like the smell too, too much, 
The bottle's gorgeous and you can always reuse this bottle. And then I also got the really cool ski pass. I only expected this to just be the actual like card of a ski pass. I didn't expect there to be this nice lanyard as well. So I'm happy with the aesthetic of all these gifts as well as the functionality of them. I can use all of them. So overall this month, I think that Once Upon a Book Club really hit it out of the park. I'm so happy I chose the adult book. If you're interested in subscribing for Once Upon a Book Club, I will leave a link in the comments down below where you can save some money when you sign up. Subscribing will help me make more awesome unboxing videos and book hauls. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.